Hello everyone, Argo Thump here, playing Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. Somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly. If you got it out of a trash can, you need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. i better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh. I take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Light of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, Spy Fox. Agent Gracefully helicopters out of the area, leaving Spy Fox to fight the villain. Bad guys? Got water? So I'm going to be honest, I don't know if Spy Fox was joking during those opening scenes, or if this is his first day on the job and he really doesn't know any of this spy material. Alright, so the first uh, five or so minutes of the game are about escaping these villains here. I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. We start with a very simple puzzle. We need to escape this area by putting the water skis into the water. It's a bucket of water. Mm-hmm. If I had skis on, I could show those goons why I won the Spy Corps Freestyle Ski Jump Competition. Whoa, you did? Well, that's that's very impressive. Very impressive, Spy Fox. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Okay, so grab the pill from the tuxedo jacket and put it in the water. Water, work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Woohoo! Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I wonder which way I should go. So this looks like a puzzle. Uh, we don't want to go to the right. That looks bad. We've got villains there. So let's go to the left. I wonder which way I should go. Again, villains to the right, so let's go to the left. With my Olympic ski ability, I bet I can ski right past those goons. Ah, uh, okay, Spy Fox seems to be saying he should go to the right this time. I wonder which way I should go. Into the cave? Fox safely lands on a plane. Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side, it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow! You can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no-goodness. 
you would best go check out this World's Fair. Monkey, Penny, and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Oh. All right, so that seems like the story. We're going to stop the villains from Bye building a robot. Okay? Shaken, but not stirred, Monkey, Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. I'm here too. I can help. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey wah, Penny, wah, not wah. Smelly. Smelly! As in, the Society for Meaningless Evil, Larceny, Lying, and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. Okay, okay, so that's how it starts. That's how the game starts. So, Spy Fox, what's your next step? That's an excellent question. I'm already pretty darn good at the Foxtrot, the Waltz, and the Tango. But I've always wanted to learn how to swing. Hmm. How fortunate for the world that your crime fighting is better than your sense of humor. Now get going. Yeah, he, he's pretty good at the foxtrot, I would imagine. It's the assembly instructions for one evil dog bot made by Smelly Toy Division. Looks like it needs four items, is that right? It's the assembly instructions for one evil dog bot made by Smelly Toy Division. Yeah, I'm going to guess we have to find all four of the special items in order to build that robot. This is a rather cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then only when we're on a case. Right! Yeah, yeah, you, you shouldn't make fake IDs in real life. That That is bad. That is bad. Definitely. So, uh, let me see. Uh, let's check out some of these spy gadgets. What's this? An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? I once printed these on exploding paper. But man, did those cause heartburn. That's the alarm deactivated. Yeah, we can uh, get a couple of gadgets for our little tuxedo thing. It looks like we've only got four spaces. Four spaces. So we can only have four gadgets. How many gadgets are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven or so? Okay, so we obviously cannot carry all of the super secret spy gadgets. 